Hi, uh, could you introduce yourself a little bit for our viewers? Sure. Uh, my name is Lars Bakken and I'm Crucible Design Lead at Bungie. Okay, cool. Thank you very much. Um, first question, what is new in The Taken King? Ooh, that's, that's a big question. There's a lot new in The Taken King. Um, there's a brand new uh, story campaign filled with amazing cinematics and storytelling and new characters. And then there's a... Uh, you know, there's a new raid, there's new crucible content, there's new strikes. Basically, we left no stone unturned when we wanted to add new things to the game. So there's there's a lot there. It's a very, very meaty expansion. Okay, um, what do you offer for the players who played it since day one? Uh, I, I we've, We have a couple of things there. Um, you know, I don't won't go into great detail, but you know, there's going to be some specific things that players who have been there from day one will just have access to, and then there's a couple other things we're doing, like the triumph system, mm -hmm. where we have a series of things that if you do them before the Taken King comes out, you'll have access to, you know, a specific emblem that you can only get from being there from year one, um, and there are other things sprinkled in there too that we're not we're not ready to talk about yet, but they'll players will be pretty excited when they boot up Destiny when the Taken King comes out. Okay, that's cool. Um, what do you think? Uh, do you believe there will be other characters? Because you, you introduced um, the, the new weapons and the new special uh, abilities. Oh, the subclasses? Yeah, yeah. yeah. And do you consider a new class, a fourth class? Um, you know, we're always thinking about stuff like that. Uh, there is no, there's no new class in uh, Destiny other than the new subclasses for each of the, the main character classes. So, you know, it gave us the opportunity to go, okay, each of the two, uh, or each of the three classes had two of the damage types. So, you know, there's Arc, Void, and Solar, and we wanted to hit... Uh, give each each of the three classes all three of them. So now that's where you see like the the Stormcaller and the Night Stalker and the Sunbreaker coming in with the new supers, and we're we're pretty excited about that. Okay, okay. Um, you have these weekly cycles where you restart the servers, yeah. and uh, will you keep them? Will you add new one like the Iron Banner event or something? Uh, we're going to keep the Tuesday weekly recycle where um, it switches over and new activities are available. We're adding new things like uh, there's going to be uh, more in-depth crucible activities week over week. There's still going to be the, the strikes that people have grown you know, really fond of, the campaign missions. Um, that are coming back like on a daily basis, uh, all that stuff, and then you can probably expect some new things at some point. But you know, we're not talking about that quite yet. Okay, uh, I've heard that Peter Dinklage uh, was replaced yeah. as a new for a new ghost. Yeah. Uh, why was that? Good question. <laughs> um, so when we started working on the Taken King, we were we were learning from things we'd done in the Dark Below and House mm -hmm. of Wolves, and one of the things that came online, and we we really reacted to and the players reacted to well were, was the quest system mm -hmm. and so we've really taken that to heart uh, there's a full screen in the menu now that's dedicated to quests and so what what that means is when we went back and and wanted to requestify the entire game so if you start as a brand new player you're gonna have quests throughout the entire game and all the content even the initial destiny content that launched last mm -hmm. year so we went back and touched everything and when we did that and we knew we had the chance to work with Nolan North as the ghost, we went back and we said, okay, cool, let's like let's make it holistic. So someone who comes in and plays from the beginning, it's gonna be Nolan North, that entire thing. And we're we're really excited to work with him again because we worked with him in the past and he's awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um one last thing for the fans, maybe. Uh, do you plan any DLC for year two or even year three or something? Or? Uh, I mean, we, we don't have anything that we're talking about right now in, in terms of DLC. Um, yeah, that's that's it for... Like, okay, so yeah, it's just... just what we've talked yeah. about so far, what you're going to get day one is, is all, we're, all we're willing to share right now. Okay, okay. And if you could um, now design Destiny 2, what would you change in front of the, the, the other part? You want me to sit here for hours? <laughs> <laughs> Just a I few mean, I'm things. A, I'm a perfectionist, <laughs> so uh, I'm going to look at everything and every system and, and try and make things better. And we've been, we've been doing that, you know, over the course of the first year, we've already had... 30 some odd updates to the game and this isn't just for the people who buy the you know the yeah. expansions it's for everybody when you log in um, there's all sorts of new stuff there and we're going to keep doing that and so I have a list of a lot of things that I'd like to see change one of the things we did 
during the first year was we completely uh, redid the ammo economy in the mm-hmm. Crucible. You know, we, we, we made it uh, easier for players to understand where ammo was going to be, added timers, like completely like controlling the economy in a way that we didn't really have control over before. And there's a lot of stuff like that that I'd still love to, you know, touch and tweak. And, um, yeah, I don't know. Ask me again in six months. I'm sure <laughs> I'd say a bunch of new things as well. But um, a lot of the stuff that we, we have been wanting to do, um, some of it's already gone in. Some of it's going to be there in the Taken King, um, like the questification stuff. We added quests to the Crucible now. So one of the things that was really uh, frustrating for me as a designer when we launched the Crucible was that we didn't really walk players through mm-hmm. and explain how everything worked and explain how the game types worked. And we have a system now with quests that, you know, you're going to go to Lord Shax, you're going to talk mm-hmm. to him, he's going to give you a quest, and then slowly it opens up and it branches out and you talk to his the quartermaster who's like the, the robot mm-hmm. that stands next to him in the tower he's gonna have quests for you you know you're gonna go through quests for your mentors for your class mentors you're gonna talk to the gunsmith you're gonna do all this really cool stuff and so we were able to branch it out so a lot of the ideas we had are making it into the taking king and then you know it's gonna okay. keep going from there well that sounds cool yeah. um, one last sentence uh, friends and and fans asked me why should i buy another expansion for destiny could you just say in one sentence for the people out there why should they buy the taking king um it's never been a better time to jump in to the to the destiny universe the taking king when you get the legendary edition it's the price of a normal game um for for most players mm-hmm. and that gives you Every, it gives you the Taken King, which is an excellent package by itself, but then you get everything from the first year too. So if you're if you've never played Destiny before, it's it's a superb time to start. Okay, thank you very much. Yeah, thanks for thank coming. Thank you. Thank yeah. you.